Hey, it's Austin here from Height and Living, and today I want to talk to you about the good and the bad types of light. So nowadays, you probably have heard that you shouldn't look at phones before bed. And the reason is, the light emitted from phones is blue light. Blue light falls exactly opposite on the wavelength spectrum of light to red light, which is the beneficial type of light. Now, the sun out here, on the other hand, contains a full spectrum of wavelengths of light. So getting sunlight is possibly one of the best things you can do simply because in the morning you want sunlight to wake you up to spike your cortisol a bit to get you ready for the day. It's how our ancestors would wake up and at night when the sun goes down there's a sunset a lot of times, red light comes out and when that happens you start to physiologically calm down and get ready for bed. So getting sun throughout the day, about 20 minutes of direct sunlight, is the prescription for the best sleep you can have. And honestly, it's probably the prescription for more vitamin D, for just better health altogether. Now here's the catch though. You don't want to get sunlight when it's overcast and dreary outside. Or if you're at a polluted area, or let's say you're far from the equator. If you're far from the equator, you're going to need more time of direct sunlight comparative to if you're near the equator where you're closer and in more direct contact with sunlight, mostly UVB rays. The reason you don't want to go outside when it's polluted or when there's a cloudy cover and the sun's barely showing in is UVB and UVA are the two types of UV rays emitted by the sun. UVA is the non-beneficial cancer-causing type of light but what happens is UVA can penetrate through cloud cover through glass windows through just about anything that light can actually get through whereas UVB rays get stopped and UVB rays are also the rays that code for vitamin D creation in the body so when you're going outside and it's cloudy there's pollution and you're getting that sunlight it's more of a radiation type light you're getting the UVA rays. That's why they say that the left side of your body is more radiated when driving because it's coming in from the left side of the windshield the whole time that you're driving. And it's a reason that a lot of like professional drivers can get skin cancer a lot easier if they're driving in sunny areas as the UVA rays go right through the window and UVB rays are stopped so you're not actually getting any beneficial sunlight. So in sun, that's going to be the beneficial type of light. Now, pivoting more towards blue light. Blue light is gonna be a light that you mostly wanna stay away from. In the morning, you can use blue or bright white light to wake you up. It's gonna spike your cortisol, it's gonna get you up a little bit, but the caveat with blue light is, blue light is a big stressor, no matter what, no matter what time of day. When you're getting blue light, it's shutting down your cell mitochondrial function just a tiny bit, but enough to actually make a difference and to stress your cells out a little bit. Stress is exactly what you don't want throughout the day. So in that sense, when you're getting blue light, essentially what you're doing is you're shutting down mitochondrial function, you're making sure your cortisol rise a little bit more. And if cortisol is chronically elevated, then that's when it becomes a problem. So focusing on getting red light, on the other hand, the other spectrum of the light is more of a physiological de-stressor. It's gonna help to improve your metabolism. My friend Tim Burzen's over at uh, Ignite Your Metabolism, that's a new program, or Amplified Metabolism talks about red light a lot. Putting it on your thyroid, putting it on your heart, putting it on your stomach to get a little rid of belly fat, to mobilize it to brown fat more, and putting it even on your testicles, which increases testosterone, is something that's super beneficial to your whole cell body. So by using red light at night, I have Hue Lighting. Hue Lighting is a controllable lighting app on your phone. You can turn them, I think there's 16 or 64,000 colors, something insane. You turn it completely red, it helps to literally calm your body and diminish the chance of blue light coming out. Another way to make sure that you're not seeing too much blue light is to wear blue light blocking glasses. Uh, these are a personal favorite of mine. I can get them on Amazon, I'll put a link below. But using blue light blocking glasses every night around 7 to 8 at night if you're going to bed around 10 when the sun goes down, which is the time that you should because of light and how it's affecting you. Putting the blue light blocking glasses on allows you to still look at computers and TVs and do whatever else that contains blue light. Well, you should still stray away from it but it makes sure that you're not getting the full blue light that's disrupting melatonin production, that's disrupting the suspend the amount suspended and for how long it's suspended in your bloodstream, which completely 
makes it so you have worse quality of sleep and you get less sleep. So focus on red light, try to get rid of blue light and get 20 minutes of sunlight a day and you're gonna be hitting all the